Well, that was a load of Australian groups, and I'm here with Michael Hutchins, who is the lead singer of In Excess, who are on later on in the show, and they're also the biggest group in the whole of Australia, and almost as big in the rest of the world. Nearly. Nearly as big in the rest of the world. Now, what's it like when you come to somewhere like England and you have to sort of start again from scratch? It's, well, it's hard, you know, because you're not used to playing in small places, but uh, like we did the marquee the other night. We haven't done a show that small for like five years, but um, I think it's good for us, actually. I think it's great. We sort of settle down again. You were saying that earlier on that in Australia um, the music is more important than image, and in England mm. everyone's very concerned about your trousers. Mm. I'm not your surprised. Trousers, mm actually looking at those but um do you find that's happening to you a lot mm, yeah well people sort of looking and say well you know you have to dress a certain way to play a certain music yeah you know it happens what? all over the place i don't know we're not really concerned we're just concerned with our music and how would you describe comfortably it we dress. comfortably yes yeah. <laughs> they look a little tight to me now um how would you describe the music uh uh r rock music <laughs> Now, often, <laughs> mm, <laughs> often um, whenever there's a new Australian group that in England they haven't heard of, yeah. immediately everyone starts saying, well, this is the beginning of the sort of Australian renaissance. Mm, again. Yeah, again. Mm. Why do you think most Australian groups that have come over here haven't broken? But maybe they're not good enough. Or maybe, uh, I don't know, I think some good ones have. There's a couple around, like the Triffids and that, that have. But uh, not in sort of a more commercial way. Maybe. In, uh, in England and in America, they've got a sort of musical heritage, mm. supposedly, to give them a sound. Mm. Do you think the same applies now to Australian groups, though, that they have a sound? Yeah, yeah maybe. Uh, there's, it's, it's a combination of English and British, you know, so we sort of take little bits of each. You know? And uh, I, I think all the bands in Australia sound pretty original myself. They don't really sound similar to each other. You know? Now, what have you got coming up in the next few weeks? Well, we're going to be back in London on February the 2nd at the Hammersmith, and we're going to go through Europe in the meantime and uh, go to Canada and the States and back to Australia for a holiday. Now, in all the, um, the polls that I was reading in Countdown magazine, mm. Mm, yeah. you know, when it came to Sexiest Man, mm. you won. Is there a category for that? Now? Yeah. Sexiest Man. I don't read them. Now, what, what about Paul win? Mel Gibson? What's he now? Oh, Mel, yeah, he's, you know. Just forget yeah, it, eh? Forget it, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm really sad. Now we're now going to turn from all that, and we've hit all the high points in that conversation, back to Jules and Robbie. I hope. We were really surprised. It was a very happy surprise. I mean, Needed Tonight, for instance, was a song that we, was the last song we ever thought of putting out as a single. And then we decided to because we really liked the song.